if I keep this shape, I think I can be among the top four, top three mid laners. Mm -hmm. But that's just on me, right? Because can it can happen that I drop my shape and uh, it will go to can I curse? Sure, sure, that's fine. It will go to a bit, right? <laughs> Today is the second day of week two of the LEC summer season and I am in the presence of Jack Heath finally with a win on the board after some uh, pretty good performance from you as well in the last few days. Jack Heath, can you tell me how does it feel to finally get this win and are you relieved that you can finally add one to the board? So uh, hello and thank you for the interview but uh, yeah for sure it feels way better like for me it kind of restored hope you know because with what we were doing on stage like losing those games it was so like honestly depressing like that was just free wins you know and we lost it ourselves but today like we came on stage as a complete different team because it was way more calm way more like yeah just calm you know so for sure I'm happy with what he showed and finally like restored hope yeah and i mean i think like for most lec viewers you've been a big surprise uh, for them basically because especially like at the start of the year you were still like uh finding your footing in the lec and obviously you were like a rookie but now you are coming in gun slinging pretty much and like completely smurfing on the lec and i mean obviously right now the score doesn't like show it very much but you have been completely popping off so far. Um, I believe you were, at least like before today, you were first in DPM and also first in damage per gold, which is very impressive uh, in terms of like all players in the LEC pretty much. So how do you feel about your own performances at this split, by the way? Do you feel like you've improved a lot uh, since the start of the year? I mean, for sure, like, right? Like if you look at stats, if you look at the gameplay, I for sure improved a lot. I think it's because of the new addition to the team. Like we have uh, mm -hmm. assistant coach Nico. There was an academy last time and he's kind of my individual coach a bit and I think he fixed my laning phase like a lot and mm. I mean I think it shows and going ahead from laning phase like just makes the game for me way easier and for sure for going from spring to winter now I can finally say I, I think I'm comfortable on stage like if the comms are not hectic and I can actually focus on my gameplay I think I, yeah, it's for sure way easier for me and I'm kind of proud of myself a bit, even though we are 1-4, but yeah, it's good to see the improvement. What do you think is like the, the biggest thing that Nico has uh, ta taught you so far, uh, actually, to like better this lane phase and just improve yourself overall? I think I was missing a lot uh, about like intentions of enemies, right? Or my intentions, what I need to do. It's not really wave management because now I view the laning phase a bit different than before because last time I was viewing it as wave management when to base and stuff but now it's all about like intentions when to punish when to go in when to defend and I feel like I picked up on it quite fast and Nico has coached a lot of Korean mid laners in his career so he knows a lot about that so I'm kind of like basing it from like the other Korean mid laners, right? So I mean, obviously, as you said, also you you've had a few other additions to the team. I mean, there's uh, the Antonio joining and Juan as well. Um, how has it been so far, like integrating these new players into the team as well? And has it has it been like difficult as well for you guys to maybe pivot and like change the the style of the team, maybe even? I think with the addition of Juan and Antonio, I think we actually adapted quite well. I mean, again, we are one four, so it doesn't really show, yeah. but. I feel like we adapted quite well because in some extent Antonio's champ pool makes my life way easier because mm -hmm. I can play as you can see almost anything right I can go Talia I can go Azir I can go Varus I like I have a lot of champs like that I still don't want to leak you know but <laughs> basically it makes my job a lot of e a lot easier and even his uh, commitment to give up his lane and just help me get ahead because he just trusts in me and know I can carry and I think that's what we can expect from the basically new GX. And coming to Johan, I think he doesn't have like, I don't know, he doesn't have much games, but he has, it feels like he has so much experience because he's kind of mm. smart. The only issue is the English barrier, but he's like learning quite fast because I expected before I got told that he doesn't speak English at all, mm. but he's actually just like smart in game and outside of the game. So it's like a, it's beautiful to work with him. And obviously, uh, speaking of picks as well, I mean, I don't think it's really a leak considering you've played it a lot in solo queue and you even tweeted about it, but there's the Ezro mid, right? Uh, we've seen the highlights on Twitter as well. We've seen it uh, coming. So when do you think we're finally going to see the, the Ezro from you as well? Do you think you, we're going to have to wait for the buffs to go through as well? Or is it already maybe playable? Well, I think Ezreal mid, I don't think it's good to be fair. <laughs> I think it's good only to like, 
catch enemies of guard, right? But mm. yeah, next patch is getting buffed, so maybe I can pull it out a bit more in, into some matchups. But yeah, that's all I'm gonna say to that. I it's think. just a fun champion because uh, of like the the APMs and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna you're gonna be uh, doing a drag dark cosplay next patch or something. Yeah. All right. Well, that aside, I mean, at the start of the year when we first talked, you mentioned that you didn't want to overreach your goals and like you were first aiming to try and make it to the season finals. Um, obviously, so far, Giant X has ended eight twice in a row, but and, and now like obviously starting a bit uh, in a difficult position. But do you think this is still like an achievable go uh, goal for you guys? And are you confident that you guys will be able to put it back like in the second of the, the group stage and the playoffs as well? I for sure think it's still achievable. I think this game, I'm not gonna lie, was the like point where I'm gonna get hope if we can do it or not. But today with what we showed, I think it was a clean game. Of course, I did some <laughs> Talia Uts that almost lost the game. But, but yeah, other than that, I think it was a clean game and it showed that if we can actually provide calmness in the game, that we are not a bad team at all. And even the game before, right? Like. Hmm. If we don't panic and like don't lose the game on ourselves, that was three wins, you know. And considering that we're a new roster, like we did two new players, new coaches to play against like rosters that have already been there for two splits or more, I think it's like shows a lot that we can for sure do it. And I I, I still believe it. So yeah. And I mean, so far obviously as well, it's important to note that like in week one and the first game of this week, you've had a pretty difficult like strength of schedule as well because you were facing G2, Fnatic, SK, and even Heretics is not too bad as well. So I think it's definitely influenced uh, maybe the results. But next week you're going to be facing Vitality that has been struggling a bit uh, so far, but also BDS, which is still like looking pretty strong as well. What are your expectations for next week as in terms of results, pretty much? I mean, I will always, always trust myself to go to zero hmm. because I just believe in myself and I think we can for sure pull it off. And uh, yeah, the starter weeks were kind of hard in the teams, but that again shows even more that the games were just in our favor, right? Like we had them, we just threw them away. So that like gave me some confidence as well that like if we can do this against the good teams then in the middle of the pack team we should just like win you know like we should just win yeah. if we uh, do what we need to do and don't throw it ourselves so I I'm expecting a 2-0 week but I think it's in our hands yeah and obviously I mean you've been very uh, collected I guess and still like you're not trying to overreach as we already said but You've been uh, gapping mid laners left and right so far this split. And I would like to ask you, after like the, the first few games that you've played so far, and considering your improvements in the, in the league, where do you see yourself among other mid laners? Do you think you have what it takes to be considered like maybe top five or even top three uh, currently in the LEC? I think that question, like it, it depends a lot because I don't think I can say that I'm better than Humanoid or uh, Caps. Like I will not pull a super, okay? <laughs> I will not do that. Yeah. But uh, sh like, I think I'm in really good shape right now. If I keep this shape, I think I can be among the top four, top three mid laners. Mm -hmm. But that's just on me, right? Because can it can happen that I drop my shape and uh, it will go to can I curse? Sure, sure, that's fine. It will go to <laughs> a bit, right? But yeah, it also depends on the other mids because I think, for example, Caps is not in a good form. Like everyone can see that, right? Mm -hmm. I think some of the mid laners are kind of disrespecting, which honestly is understandable we did not show the best performance so hmm. i think it bases a lot, a lot on that but yeah if i keep my shape i think i can be amongst the top three or four mid laners in the league do you think like human and caps are like maybe these mids to take down for you uh, or do you have another nemesis maybe in the league as well i mean i think for sure caps and monitor is by far the top two like hmm. there is no denying it i think then i think if i would have to rank them it's probably niski or larsen i think larsen is mega underrated hmm. i think He's getting kind of win traded a bit sometimes, but yeah, it's for sure like those th those top four mids that are like to beat. All right, uh, this is about all the time we have today, unfortunately. But I would like to just finish off by asking if you have any words for the people that support you as well and just the fans of the team uh, before we close off. Yeah, I mean, thank you to everyone who's cheering for us. I'm sad even for you guys that you have to sometimes watch our games, especially the ones that are won, you know. But I hope today made it made it clear that. We are still in it and I hope you guys keep supporting us and we will show for sure better results. Perfect. Well, thank you very much again for your time today and hopefully we'll get to talk to you again very soon. And we're going to cross our fingers to see Giant X in the playoffs and uh, maybe even the, se the season finals as well if you keep performing like today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have